the Morris Justice Project. <laughs> we surveyed over a thousand local residents to study police in the neighborhood. Over the last year, the NYPD made 3,920 police stops that's just in our neighborhood alone. 90% of those stops were neither given a summons nor arrested. In other words, they were innocent. And we're a group of community members here in, around these blocks and also uh, university professors and lawyers and the Public Science Project. And we've come together basically to study uh, experiences with police and the stop and frisk and attitudes towards police in this neighborhood. And this was our first presentation to the community of the, of the findings of our survey that over a thousand people took. So we wanted to introduce it to the community, let them know what the survey that we took, that we gave them and they filled out for us, over a thousand surveys. We wanted them to know the outcome of it. As a group, we created a presentation which was projected from the Illuminator also, Julie Dresner's documentary from the New York Times was filmed and the Community Safety Act, we projected that. And so all of that went down just to essentially give back and feed back this information to the neighborhood. And for all those stops last year, you only recovered eight guns? Don't misunderstand us. We're not against the police. It's how you police. The majority of the people that took the survey like 51% was saying how they, when they were stopped, they would stop to ask for ID. This is our home. We belong here. Yeah. Please, don't treat us like we're strangers. We also had a question asking if there were ever called names, and we had a fill in answer, and they put in every name we can, you can imagine, and they were on it. And and like she said, it was several names, so many racist names that was on that list that it was unbelievable. It was kind of like, a, it ain't too much going to shock me because I live in the area, but I was like kind of shocked about it myself. This is our home. We shop here. Please don't stop us without a good reason. 67% of those who took our survey reported being stopped by the police. Part of what the survey showed is how much the community members here love their community, care for their community. Yes. And that they're not asking the NYPD to leave, they're just asking the NYPD to police differently. Right. We want, we want to be able to get along, you know. It's not like back in the days when you had Officer Joe who walked the block and was familiar with his neighborhood where he walked. His beat that he walked, he was familiar with it. Now we're not familiar with him, them, and they're not familiar with us. So we got to get a little bit closer. Something got to happen that we can communicate a lot more. Some type of program that I can understand your job and you can understand that this is where I live at. The, the data that we shared tonight was from a preliminary analysis. Yeah. Um, we're going to keep working on it and keep working and sharing back with the community and helping folks understand that their experiences with the police and um, the level of harassment and injustice that they're experiencing is happening everywhere um, and helping folks um, decide what they want to do about that and how we might work better with the cops so that and the police so that we can have uh, fair and, and just and respectful and responsible policing in the neighborhood which is really what everybody wants. Yes and I think we all deserve a little respect you know you have to give it in order to receive it and I think we deserve that and any any community, you know. We need them, we want them here, but we just want them with respect. We give us our dignity that we deserve. Dear NYPD, we are the Marvis Justice Project. We deserve fair and just policing.